um, every morning, well not every morning, like I think maybe three times a week, I always drive past this place. I just absolutely love this place and I always imagine what could be um, in terms of if I could ever have my shop here because this is such a busy road. I always imagine I just sometimes sit and I park outside and I just look at this place and just um, think what it could be. And um, I just came back from Joburg uh, last week and I said, hey, let me take a drive and let me just go relax and look at this shop. And look what I saw. So this is the back side of the shop. Today what we're going to be doing is closing off the hold back and maybe putting a small garage door over here because over there where those three bags of cement are is going to be where our toilet is so today we're just going to be busy with cleaning it is very dusty these trucks belong to my neighbors so they have to get these out of here today because we need to get starting we need to get start working so yeah this is my new spot today we're just going to be busy with cleaning as you can see the floor is very dirty so my boys are going to be uh, sweeping the whole floor we're sweeping it up and cleaning it up so that we can um what's the word start painting the floor because we're going to get the floor painted there's a lot of rubbish on the floor so it's not uh any it's, it's not like something major that a little tlc won't be able to sort out because the wall is still going to be washed as well and then i bought some paint for the wall as well so we're going to get the wall painted <clears throat> that's not another big issue as well so yeah, uh, we're gonna try and transform this to be as really beautiful as possible. Um, yeah, come along with the journey. Headed over to Roofco right now to go buy some sheets to close off the back. So yeah, let's head on over to Roofco. So we are done over here at Roofco. Just finished paying for all of my material. I, it was not nice, Chief was not nice uh, the material just to close up the back costed us about eleven thousand five hundred. so yeah we're still gonna have to pay the guy that's gonna be putting up everything um yeah so i'll keep you guys posted so the material has officially arrived the material and the guys that are closing up my back so these are the guys that are doing the job that's the sheets that are going to be covering up and um i told them hey guys we need to finish today because um it's not going to be closed so the materials are going to be safe and they said i know this is a quick job so basically closing up over there they reckon it's a quick job so we'll just see by the end of today if it was a quick job indeed so yeah we will see and we'll take it from there so still busy over here decided to make the poles that are going to be for the roller door to be a little bit to the right a little bit so that um my ramp because i'm planning on also having a ramp one of the biggest things that i've ever wanted so yeah this is the process also getting it painted inside same time So I just spent another 800 buckaroonies on a on buying the small consumables like the tray for painting. Right now I'm headed over to Builders to buy a roller door. I couldn't afford an industrial one. The industrial one they want about 18,000. That's too much. So we're gonna put the normal residential. Sorry about that. Let me let me close that. Uh, who's calling i don't even know right so we're gonna put the home the the residential um roller door for now and then we're also going to have a sliding gate on the outside so that's double um i'd say the security so we got a roller door on the outside and we also have the sliding gate so a little bit of double protection i've had my fair share of break-ins in my past um workshop so i'm not looking forward to any of those mishaps so yeah we will definitely be making sure that the security is definitely tight here so i'm um, currently on the way to builders to buy a, a roller door so yeah um i could not afford the industrial uh because finances are a little bit tight right now um it was it's because mainly of the car giveaway the car that i bought the other i20 that i bought 
and if you remember the Golf 6 GTI that I bought plus the Amarok that I bought so I think within a lifespan within a span of like two months I think I've bought about uh, five five cars so yeah there's also some other ones that I haven't posted that I bought as well some other projects that I'm working on that you're gonna find out about real soon so yeah finances are a little bit tight um, so yeah we I'm just trying to pinch penny pinch as much as I can at the moment so yeah let's come in and let's see what builders got um, I've already arrived so yeah we're gonna see what these guys got so these are the bad boys I'm looking for they are selling for 2499 when I saw them online they were a thousand and something so I'm just gonna call the manager and try and match the price and see let's just look around and see if we can find anything else so it definitely is much cheaper online so you're gonna buy it online or oh, I'm just gonna pay for this it's fine but um, I actually wanted a charcoal color because I'm gonna be painting my my uh, the, 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 the back covering that these guys are busy installing I was gonna paint it a dark gray so I was looking for charcoal and they don't have charcoal so they only have brown and white so we're gonna see maybe we might go for white because it's timeless so ended up taking on for 2400 it's fine so you're gonna load it up on big daddy i think it should fit so yeah we're gonna load it up and uh get this fitted as well so it's all loaded up it's all tied down that's not going anywhere they say you're not a real man if you don't say that once you have done uh tying something down uh, to your bucky so yeah let's head on back I think the gap that we left that three meters is going to be too big because this garage is about 2.4 so we might have to make that smaller these guys these guys are going to complain i know that for a fact they're going to complain and uh yeah the boys are moving they've already started to uh close off the back so yeah i'm just going to hit them with the news that the hole is too small so the it's actually looking much better than I thought it would. I'm gonna show you how it's looking at the moment. The paint is also coming out very nice, so yeah. So I'm just busy taking a little break from the uh, whole workshop. I'm on my way to I'm on my way to Pep. I'm actually at a mall. I'm on my way to Pep to uh, post some of the shirts that uh, the guys bought for the raffle. So we're gonna be posting them, sending them through today. Um, but what guys don't know is that um, a lot of the people that bought the shirts, I think about 70% of the guys, 70 to 60% of the guys that bought the shirts actually said they wanted them to be donated to the less fortunate and uh, yeah it was quite a few guys so what I'm actually going to do is that I'm going to do a raffle for those guys that donated their shirts yeah so um, I'm going to try and hook up something special for the guys that chose to donate their shirts and then we'll see we'll take it from there Shall we? so uh i am done Fish my cap is off i'm gonna see my bald head anyway uh, guys i'm done at southway mall your packages are on the way now i'm headed back to the shop um i think i've left for about an hour or two hours so i'm expecting to see some real progress over there so yeah let's go check out what these guys been up to these ones are messing around we're only busy with the garage now, putting up the garage door. Ah, let's go see. I'm gonna shout at grown men. So they're still busy with the garage, showing them flames. So 
guys are busy finishing up now garage is on and um, what else uh, we're just gonna close up the top now and the lights are also working inside six o'clock now but uh, it's looking good the whole back is closed up we just need to do the top now once the top is done it's game over but uh, maybe tomorrow we're going to uh, put the clear sheets i think for now we're just gonna blank it out completely because of time seven o'clock almost done just putting the clear sheet for some sunlight so yeah it's looking good it's looking good i'm really glad that we were able to finish this today my shop is 90 percent done with the closing so yeah it's 90 percent done we are almost done it's looking real 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 clean real smooth so yeah we're gonna be doing some some pretty epic videos over here so yeah this is gonna be my bay i'm gonna have my ramp right here so yeah this truck just needs to come out officially eight o'clock it's done finished waiting for these guys to finish up and then i can call it a night but we are done over here so officially done for the day the truck is also done this thing is going to be out of here tomorrow i can start doing my floor the whole enclosure is up so we can lock now tomorrow we're also going to fit in the new gate so we're going to fit a gate for the back as well maximum security boss so yeah the front gate is also sorted out it's painted this side our meters on our lights are working it's just the floor and to paint that side and then we can be in business and i can have my ramp this side and yeah big daddy is ready to take me home right now so yeah we're gonna see so how's it guys it's a brand new day today we finished a little bit late yesterday i think at about um i think eight o'clock to nine o'clock at night i was pretty late but i'm really glad about the pro uh, the progress that we made yesterday so yesterday we spent a little uh how much how much uh, i think i was doing some calculations last night we spent about twenty three thousand on yesterday alone and today i just need to go buy more paint so i'm just gonna go get more paint and then we're gonna be doing three quotations uh from different companies on a ramp i'd really like to get a ramp fitted this week i know it's a little bit of a, a long shot since it's wednesday maybe they might be able to only come through on monday or something but i'd really love to get my shop um a uh, 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 lift fitted as soon as possible so we're going to get these three quotes and we're going to get the painting done today painting done today we're also going to paint the floor i want to clean the floor as well and then yeah let's go let's go let's go so right now it's about um one o'clock in the afternoon today's just been a very tiring day i think it's because of working late yesterday but um yeah things are really slow today i was able to secure a ramp i got a couple of quotations from a couple of companies and um got another quotation came to about fifty thousand with installation and everything and what i liked about that one it's a launch it's a launch ramp so yeah we're going with a launch ramp it's gonna cost uh, about fifty thousand, including that and installation and we also got a gate um for the back Costed some big bucks as well about nine thousand for the for the back gate we're also putting a front gate a lower gate to just keep um every para out and every fragrant out so <clears throat> yeah um that one i think it's about five thousand there so yeah i just left the guys busy building the wall for the toilet and uh yeah i'm just gonna show you some visuals shortly i'm just uh en route to get some lunch so still busy lots of noise over here um at the moment we're making a small gate for the front gates over here we're also going to install the big one there it is over there and the guys from sal equipment just arrived they are busy uh inspecting the floor if it's good and proper enough to inspect the hoist let's go see inside So yeah, we're just busy digging for the back gate 
so we got a garage in the back and the gates in the outside for some maximum protection um, these are new sheets for um, the customer area and lounge area that's going to be on the outside so we're going to have some extra parking over here as well as some um, a nice little chilling spot so busy setting up the uh, awning for this side so yeah this one's almost done and then we're going to also hang the gate tomorrow first thing in the morning so yeah let's see inside they're busy building the section for the toilet so let's go check that out this is the section and then i think we might build an upstairs office not sure as yet we'll see how it goes with the finances but i'm running dry now i'm running dry so yeah the awning is almost up this one's going up now almost there need to get it done So it's about six o'clock in the afternoon and uh, yeah, we still at it. I have to get this shop ready. People are complaining. Um, yeah, people are really angry. They need help with their cars. So I'm really trying my best to get this place ready by Monday. So um, when you'll see this, I think it'll probably be Sunday or something or Monday. But uh, yeah, I'm just on it. I am working till later every day, guys but uh this is our new home and i am investing every rand that i have to this place every single rand i want it to be everything and more that i want this place is actually my dream shop like my dream shop to me was a place that i would be able to have a two post two post hoist and i'm gonna get that one installed tomorrow it was a lot of money i think about fifty thousand rand in total but it's going to be worth it. It's, it has always been my dream to own a two-post hoist. But uh, yeah, we're almost there. The outside awning is done. The outside carport, it's done. Uh, the inside uh, small gate is done. They're busy with the posts and mounting it down. And they're also busy with the track for the outside gate for extra security. And uh, the toilet room will be done maybe tomorrow or something. So let's go have a look. It's not going to be so clear because it's dark. Let's go have a look and see how far these guys have gone. So sorry about that. It's raining really, really bad. So Monday we are going to try to start working. A lot of people are suffering. So Monday we're going to definitely, it's going to be definitely be our first day. And I'm going to post this, I think, on Sunday. Yeah, uh, we also maybe tomorrow we're going to do the upstairs for the office and reception. So yeah, we're going to do that tomorrow as well. I don't know if I showed you the awning outside. I can't remember. Anyway, let's just have a look at it. So this is the outside awning. We're going to make a nice chill area over there as well. And uh, this is the gate. Gate is done as well. So uh, if you're wondering why I covered the gate, is so that I don't like people staring from the back. So this gate is always going to be constantly closed. Um, yeah, you'd say it's pointless because the front is going to be open, but uh, I don't, I don't like my back always uh, open like that. So the back is always going to be closed, and it's going to be a staff entrance only, or when we're going to be uh, putting cars over there under the carport. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's just only that. So yeah, roller gate is going to be always open, and then the front gate is always going to be closed. And then yeah i'm just thinking of what to do with this i don't like just being all exposed like this anybody can just look inside i don't know whether to leave it like this whether it's going to be a good marketing strategy uh leave mm -hmm. it open so that they can see inside but then now when they see inside they can like think of stupid ideas i don't want that so this section is done they're just gonna install the toilet tomorrow right there um we're just busy with cleaning now and uh yeah tomorrow we're gonna start digging up this uh slab where the jack is gonna be and we're also gonna do the painting so yeah 
still got a lot of stuff to do eh? uh, it's not easy it's not easy um, yeah it's a brand new day today, uh, it's raining over here in Durban, uh, weather's quite really bad. So at the moment I'm on my way to Talisman Hire to hire some tools, uh, I need a jackhammer for digging up the slab. The guys say they can get this thing done today, well it's, it, it, it sounds like a relief to me because that maybe in like 14 days or about 10 days that means the slab can be dry and my hoist can be installed. Nevertheless though, I'm on my way to hire this jackhammer. I also have to hire a trailer that they're gonna load all the uh, rubble on. And uh, yeah, so yeah, right now we're just gonna go get these minor stuff. We're doing a couple of things. We're also installing the toilet today. Uh, we're installing the toilet, that's number one. Number two, we are also installing, I think we might be doing the, the mezzanine on the top. So yeah, that's our office in the top. So yeah, we got a couple of things to do today, but we'll see. We'll see how today goes. So got the jackhammer now. We're just leaving uh, Talisman higher. Uh, it wasn't that expensive. Eh? It was only 630 per day. I think we'll only need it for about a couple of hours, maybe one hour, two hours at most. And uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> then you have to also pay the holding deposit. That was like 2,000 rand. It's actually 3,000, but because they know me, charge me a little bit extra okay i'm telling that you i'm telling you that on the low all right so right now we're going back to the shop and we're gonna go get more things done I don't think it's gonna fit. I don't think it's gonna fit. So, how's it, guys? Um, this video here marks the end of today. Today was a rather, what's the word, productive day. Everything got done. We got the slab uh, done, the concrete is done for our engine for our two post hoist over there so it is 300 miles deep uh, the guys from um, concrete mix or something came through and my guy sorts this out so this is done and we also managed to do the paint on the um, on the floor it's a very nice sheen black and it's very wipeable this is very nice I think if you've got uh, if you're gonna be working on uh, oil and, 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 and everything because it doesn't get stained so yeah the floor is done on this side tomorrow we're just gonna finish painting up the whole of that side so we're gonna paint up the whole of that side tomorrow and then we're also going to paint up this side as well as half of that space so this space we're just gonna leave it out we're just gonna leave out this section and then yeah that's it i think that is definitely it and my toilet is nice and ready but everything is just still drying off but uh, everything is nice and ready my toilet works it flushes how's that my sink as well works and then you've got the mechanics sink over here nice and black so yeah so the only thing the guy that was supposed to do my office space area my mezzanine did not come through but uh, that's not much of a train smash we can get that done anytime so we will definitely get that done so we're gonna make our office space right over there on the top come down here and then yeah utilize uh, the uh, the most that we can of this massive place yeah i'm really happy with this space that we got over here it's a very nice place it's a nice space too it's well sectioned it's well um like the the positioning of everything because we're going to have some cars here i think a maximum of four or three in this section and then we're going to have our ramp over there and then if we want if maybe we're having like a busy day we can also have one straight ahead and maybe another one here and then more outside in the carport where our carport is so yeah i'm not uh, I'm not too picky about the space. I'm actually very happy about the space. I actually don't like taking in too many cars. So this uh, this this is enough for me. It's going to be enough for my projects as well. 
because I'll be able to store my projects and work on my projects really nicely but the floor is looking tops the floor is looking really nice I think uh, I'm actually gonna like do the floor every maybe like five months repainted because this is the paint I went and bought three more barrels so I bought three more barrels for the paint so we're just gonna do up everything each each um, paint 20 liter costs about 400 bucks so yeah we're gonna finish up tomorrow so uh yeah we are done over here at the shop this is the last video i'm actually gonna post this today today is sunday tomorrow is the big day we opening up but uh, yeah the floor is done everywhere there, that's the part where we just uh painted first so there's a whole lot of dust there so yeah the whole floor is done the only place that is left is where our ramp is going to be because we were just waiting for the cement to dry off quickly but it is very um hot now i think we can paint over it but um we won't use those places yet we're just going to give it maybe how long about um seven seven days to 10 days for it to dry off completely so yeah we're only going to get the ramp installed after 10 days but we will paint this uh, so that it looks nice everywhere but this place is still going to be off limits so yeah tomorrow it's showtime hoping to get one car over here another one there another one there maybe another one there or maybe just three and then also utilize a little bit of this space um not really sure how the turnout is going to be tomorrow but i got a couple of people that said they wanted help so i guess we'll only see tomorrow how it goes how goes it i'll probably make a youtube video uh, about that as well but uh, yeah i'll catch you on the flip side which is monday